Hope you enjoyed everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Salah Ben Adams giving my latest review on Namashu Booten, episode 497. And we got, they're 16 days away from Naruto Hinata's wedding. Hang, so, hang, things are getting ready. It's going to be very, very lively. This is part four. Uh, anyway, let's get started with the main story. I really enjoyed uh, this episode, you know, because we get to see this from Gara's perspective, and we haven't seen much of Gara in a while, you know. I really like that, you know. You know, this is a bit fillerish. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Well, yeah, anyway, hey, let's get started. Hina Naruto and Hinata's wedding, they're coming up, you know. Uh, I can't wait to see this, you know. We get to see that there's going to be a five Kage summit, you know. I mean, you know, uh, Gar uh, uh, he, does he had no idea that the wedding was going to happen in the first place, you know. Even though Tamari was already in the thing, and you know, Hidi knew, and she knew. Uh, I like I like how they when they asked you know about what's going on all the time she was here, she got so awkward and and and, 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 flat, and blushing, you know, because of what happened with Shigamaru, especially in the last episode. You guys should watch my last review on that. It's pretty funny. Um, when she got awkward, remember it was an awkward situation. Seeing how cute Tamari got, you know. It's pretty interesting. We all know what happens to them in the end, you know. <laughs> but I'm not going to get into that detail, you know. I don't want to spoil too many things. I really enjoyed oh, the chemistry between him, between him, you know, uh, Tamari and Shigamaru last time. I really liked it. Give it an A plus and thumbs up too. Uh, seeing how things are getting, you know, we get to see that they're accompanied by Lee and Ten Ten, who are watching them while they're in, in the village. You know, they're getting ready for the fight. Hey, summit, you know. Oh, oh, A, the Raikaki is also there, as long with his bodyguards, Dawi and someone else. I'll mention him later. And also, we get to see, uh, see, uh, he, uh, Onoki, the Suchikage. He's up there with his granddaughter. And there, uh, she's also the bodyguard, you know, uh, for him, you know. And uh, they're getting ready for the gifts, you know. They're all going to make wedding preparations, you know. Because I really like how they're do it, going all out for Naruto and Naruto's wedding, <laughs> you know. Because Naruto did a lot for them, you know. It seems that he has the power to touch everybody he knows in his life and leave this certain impression, like, you know. That's, something, that's the magic of Naruto, you know. Even though this arc has to have a lot of Naruto in it, you know. I'm glad that it's about his friends and, I don't know. Seeing how things go, they all try to discuss what kind of gift you know, to get him, you know, everybody's trying to think of a gift, Lee, Lee's getting a dumbbell, barbell, or whatever, you know, the hidden, you know, the hidden, uh, like everybody else is, like, working on, on what to get them, you know, Shigemaru, he got to give the hot springs, whatever, Toji, to, G2, you know, everybody's working, and we even get to see that the owner of the ramen shop is also getting him a gift, <laughs> it's pretty funny, you know, one of those special coupons for, for all you can eat, <laughs> it's pretty funny. You know, Naruto just loves ramen. You know, uh, it's pretty. We have to get to see that he seeks advice from everybody. Everybody tries to give him a feel. Like for example, uh, uh, he gets to talk to Ruka, who was Naruto's teacher, time and say, "I'm sure he'll be glad that, that a gift from his friend, the Kasekage, will mean something." You know, Gara. You know, he's taking advice from everybody. What kind of gift it, and what Naruto's favorite meal? Like they're eating ramen right now. You know, at Ugu at, you know, Ichirakus, you know, seeing how things are going, you know. Now, Kara's trying to try his hardest to try to get Naruto a gift. But now that he's Kazekake, he can't just do, he's trying to do more than just get him a gift as a friend, you know. Which is something he should continue that really struggles with him, you know. Now, I, re I really like how the development was. We had to see that Conqueror, his brother, you know, uh, also was trying to do his best to support him. I also like how Tamari like literally shuts them both out when they asked him about what he what she was doing here, you know, with the whole Shikamaru thing. That's still funny to me, you know. How awkward that got, you know. Of, of course they resolved that later, you know. Spoiler. Uh seeing how things how things go, you know, she, he takes advice from everybody, tries to see what you know, we, and they talk, they take a walk. We even get to see the they're going to, they get to run into Killer B, you know, Killer B, you know, he's all about rapping, I mean, he talks with, he's in rap, how Tenta said he's so horrible, or like, he has a bad rap, and all he does is talk and rap, you know, he gives them, he talks to them, tell them that he's gonna, and that the Hidden Clouds gave him his gift, you know, beverages, uh, beef, uh, also this special game and stuff, you know, they apparently, they basically, they're gonna go all out for the wedding, you know, I'll try to be extravagant, you know, this gets on, you know, so, um, God was my age. Should I be a traveling too? Even Conqueror's all into it. I mean, they're not gonna be outdone by the hidden cloud, you know. <laughs> uh, we gotta do something too, you know. It's pretty impressive that like, they're all going out of their way to get 
had f this for this for, for their friend, you know, especially for Gara, because Naruto's the only person who understands how he went through and what he did for him, you know. Because both being Chichiriki, both being the father of Akage, they both having to struggle with their hardest to get people's respect, and what they went to, they're kind of like twins in a way, you know. Well, exactly, like, Naruto to Gara is what Gara would have been to Naruto, you know, ending up despising, hating, filled with hatred and stuff, but and eventually, you know, he had people that depended on him while Gara spent his whole life in isolation, and it wasn't until he got older that he got friends, you know, <laughs> that's something, you know, they both have issues with their fathers, you know, one hated him, the other one died, you know, major parenting issues, and, you know, I, re I really like how they went all out, you know, However, he knows that it, it's, it just eventually finds out it's not just as what kind of elegance the gift is the gift itself, you know? Things go, you have, to, you, have to, you have to think about this as a friend, but you can't just go all out for, it's, it's not the, it's not the, how much the gift is worth, it is sentimental value, you know? You guys understand, right? Sentimental value, you know? You're doing this for the friend, that's the, the important part, and that's something you should consider, uh-huh. I really enjoy how this was, you know. We got to see so many awkward moments. Like, one of my favorite moments is that Killer B was asking, uh, he wrote to watch his, right, his brother, the Raikage, do this special ceremonial dance for the wedding and try to get things. And it caused such a scene that it gets the attention of the other Kage. A, a was furious, <laughs> was furious, like, when uh, he wanted to deck B, like, get him under control. But, actually, but when B starts talking, and well, uh, and honking like, and B says something about wedding and, and something about behind or whatever. It gets the Mitsukake Maya mad and, and she says, I will kill you and stuff. Don't mention anything about later weddings that she will flip. Just ask her subordinate A who died in the last war. Uh, you know, he he was always afraid of her. Uh, you know, everybody's so extravagant for wedding. We even get to see uh, the Rukimaru who, Yamato cameo, you know. You no, know, we've just been following Orochimaru. We get to even see those two birds flying in the sky. The, the ones that say fool, but they don't. we don't get to see them say it, you know. You know, <clears throat> eventually Gara learns his lesson that everybody's getting for the wedding. And they still have ideas what to do, you know. Killer B getting scolded by A. and A Conqueror's depressed because he can't do all things, you know. Uh, can't just, you know, take things in moderation. You got to slow down, do two things. Also, uh... Be intent on working on, still working on the gift, you know, the whole dumbbell thing, it's still not working. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode, you know, because all their friends are gathering on what to get them. And because this is for Naruto Hinata, uh, you know, thinking about this, and especially the last bit at the end where the, the, the manager gets him and that all you can eat pass. As, and let's just say it has, let's just say it has no limits. <laughs> especially when they talk about limit about six months to a year, that was funny. Uh, and especially the ending of the quote, like the ending of the thing when they have the song when they do the flashback and they put scenes from other characters. They did, they, they put one to Minato and Kushina. And when Minato was trying to say, aim the hidden leaf, but like, it didn't make sense to me because, because uh, Minato's dead now, so. Oh, uh, so it, it didn't exactly fit with the premise of Gara. Uh, to me, they should have put one about Gara, uh, you know, for his whole life struggling and what to do next. They should have put another one like that, because, you know. Because Minato, he probably would have, if Minato, if he had a chance, he probably would have planned something for Naruto's wedding, but he's dead, so he can. So, knowing Minato, he probably would have said something like, put put something for Naruto's, like, a poor day, like, way, way back. He probably would have said some kind of gift, you know, for Naruto, in case of an emergency, you know. But that, but that depends on the story and whatever, you know. And this is just, just 16 days to the wedding, and mean they got... Uh, 16 days till what's happening left. I can't wait to see how things are going to go. It looks like the next episode is going to be a Kiba Shino episode, which we haven't got one of those in a while. Can't wait to see how that goes, how the development. I mean, it looks like Shino's narrating. So it looks like, it looks like from the mission, Shino's going to be in charge, but things get awkward. We get to see Kurenai Sensei again. I can't wait to see how it happens. Anyway, and that's all I got to say. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, Toronto comes back. Thank you. This is Solomon Asuke. My name is Rio Shabun. I'm out. Peace. Love the episode. Bye.